Welcome back, Kings family, to another film review. This time we got Cole McConathy. I think the second, 6'5", 225 pounds, probably closer to 230. Um, a lot of edge tape from his junior year, but as you see his midseason tape for his senior year, he's been moved up and down the line. So I think that fits in with what we try to do uh, on defense, as you see all the diverse formations. Uh, however, obviously you just want a guy who can fire off the ball and beat a double team. Well, not a double team, but you have a right tackle and then running back help. Really didn't want no help uh, to give no help on that. Uh, just throw our quarterback's blind side for the strip sack. Uh, so he has that initial burst. This boy about to hit that speed move real quick. Um, but the effort here, <clears throat> I think he's a Mario guy when you look at his player, uh, his style of play. He's a tough, gritty guy. He's going to attack the ball. I like that he comes in with the size. When you get to a lot of these explosive edge rushers, uh, you can get a, a guy who's 6'5", 230, who has explosive pass rushing traits, but explosive traits in the run game. Uh, he can come backside uh, as that unblocked BN from the backside and consistently make plays. So that's where I see a lot of upside at. I see upside as a pass rusher as well, but uh, stuff from the run, I think uh, obviously with the run defense we displayed all year, uh, that's something that Coach Mario and I'm just continuing to move forward. Obviously, you got to be able to rush the pass with Kane's family, so if you're a DN, uh, that's going to be a defining trait. One of those defining traits is the burst off the line of scrimmage. So here he is out wide, wide nine, just straight spin and uh, speed and burst. Uh, on that uh, wide rush here, so you got to be able, you got to be able to bend, you got to be able to move. That first step is crucial. I think he's a physical player, a uh, physical player that makes plays in the backfield. You'll see here they try to set something up. He's gonna just disengage. Love the way he uses his hands, swipes through. Now he has a clean rush to that quarterback. That play had no chance uh, with that. So I love the fact that he's able to swipe. It shows he has some technicality to his game. Already has that size, like you mentioned. He'll come into Miami 6'5", 230, you know, or plus. Uh, but here comes the power. Uh, so he obviously he's stronger and bigger than people he plays against. Um, but that's what you're supposed to do when you play against that competition. And this is what I mean by a Mario Cristobal type of player. Uh, someone who can consistently win on that backside. He's going to defeat that way on block coming here from the edge, uh, from the opposite. So you're just going to come through and just destroy. You know, they're leaving you on block, uh, and you just come through. And then with a three-man rush here, you know, just effort, 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 probably good coverage quarterback can get rid of the football, um, but just defeat two uh, to get down to the sack. So that's what a Mario Cristobal type of player is, somebody who's going to consistently make those plays in the backside, someone who's going to make those pass rushing plays. Uh, even when it's a three-man rush and you're supposed to just be playing coverage, uh, just fight, effort, toughness. Very style, again, very explosive for that first step. He's going to knife through that gap between the offensive linemen, and now it's the TFL getting your running back kill. Uh, so, again, very explosive player in the backfield, very physical. Uh, when he's getting there, he's making sure people feel it. And when you roll the senior tape, you start seeing the progression. He's going to be a guy who can play inside and out. Um, and then and that's what this whole defensive line is all about, um, just exploding through, uh, explode through, swipe down real quick. That left guard really didn't get a, anything on him. Just swiped him off the way and just destroyed this running back in the backfield. Very physical football player. Again, fits what Mario Cristobal is all about with the physicality here. Now he's dropping into space and the coverage fits out the right, um, out the way, makes the tackle in space uh, on the wheel route. But again, in the backfield, very strong. Now he's versatile. You see him on tape now as a senior. Now he's lined up. <clears throat> now he's pretty much uh, just a hair over the center, almost at nose, just right there in that one and just exploding right through for the big TFL or sack, actually. So. It really gets down to business when you start evaluating this guy. Obviously, he's committed to Louisville or was committed to Louisville. We flip them. We play them Saturday. Uh, so it's going to be – it could be a big moment. It could be, yo, whoop y'all boys on Saturday. Take your recruit. The Schnelli Trophy comes home. Uh, first of its kind, I think the Schnelli Bringer Trophy, I don't know if it's been done before, but between us and Louisville, they're trying to make it a rivalry. Obviously, Louisville recruits South Florida, and obviously we're retaking some of their national recruits. So – have that trophy in our back pocket. It'll be a great weekend. Go Kings.